So what is up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a huge potential EV SPAC merger. So this merger would be between Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital Corporation 4. And so the blank check company in this scenario would be Churchill Capital Corporation and this would merge with Lucid Motors bringing Lucid Motors public. And you guys are probably seeing Churchill Capital Corporation up over 30% and that is just because of rumors of it merging with Lucid. But again, nothing is confirmed and it is all rumors. But later in the video, I'm going to be talking about why this merger is probably going to happen. So first, I'm going to be talking about Lucid Motors. Then I'll be talking about the potential deal and why it can happen and then whether I'm going to buy in or not. So Lucid Motors makes luxury electric vehicles. Their base model is called Lucid Air and it sells for $69,000. And then from there, it goes even higher. You know, their SUV might actually sell for $130,000. And their base model will be the first product to retail and that will be releasing on quarter two of 2021 so when looking at it they're not really competing with tesla yes tesla model s and the lucid air are competing but other than that lucid is going for the luxury brands like bmw or porsche so this isn't a mass market product like tesla this is more for the higher class and also what's important to know is like i said before lucid air is only competing with tesla model s and the ceo of lucid was actually the chief engineer for the tesla model s and his name is peter ralston and he has tons of experience in this industry as he was a part of tesla which is now the largest ev company in the world and like i said before their product won't be selling until quarter two of 2021 but this company was founded in 2007 so they've been spending over 10 years on research and development and this was to improve various technologies like their battery technology and to improve charging time because their lucid airs range expectation is 406 miles and their maximum range expectation is around 500 miles so it is still not sure what to expect but even the 400 mile range seems great especially when you compare it to a tesla as they are very similar as well as the tesla model s has about 400 102 miles of range and the tesla model 3 actually has 353 miles of range so like i said before lucid air might have up to 517 miles of range so it won't have to be charged as frequently as other cars but when it does need to be charged it can be charged ultra fast because of the 900 volt architecture which is designed for a capability with the ccs standard and usable with any public charging station so basically you could charge up to 300 miles in 20 minutes which is very fast especially when you compare it to the current competition so if what they're saying about their battery technology and charging times is true then this could be a great company in the future and i think people will be willing to pay the premium for this car and this car will be autonomous as well and they're actually in a partnership with mobileye and they're also talking with amazon to partner with them for alexa so customers can still be entertained so what they're saying about their technology whether it comes to autonomy battery or charging time the car looks great and this can have tons of potential and even though they don't have any sales yet they are actually planning to open close to 20 retail locations in 2021 and this can probably help them scale their sales quicker than other recent public companies like fisker so now let's talk more about churchill capital and what a potential merger can look like so churchill capital corporation 4 is a blank check company under the leadership of michael clean and it is called Churchill Capital 4 because it is the fourth SPAC. So that means there's been a Churchill Capital 1, Churchill Capital 2, and Churchill Capital 3, and they've all merged with various companies. And these previous Churchill SPACs are responsible for bringing Multiplan and Clarivate public. So again, this merger between Lucid and Churchill Capital is not confirmed yet. And it's just rumors however if it is done this could be a 15 to 25 billion dollar SPAC deal it does seem a little high considering that they are yet to actually deliver their lucid air however looking at the valuations of other ev companies it kind of makes sense so now i'm going to be talking about why i think this SPAC deal will happen and whether the stock is a buy or not so one reason why i think this merger will happen is these aren't just rumors that came out of nowhere these two companies are actually in talks to merge another reason why i think this SPAC merger will happen and why lucid motors will become public very soon is because lucid will want to capitalize on the ev hype that is going on right now with the insane valuations of ev which will also give lucid motors a great valuation you know if they went public maybe two years ago the company probably would have been valued at the one or two billion dollar range but because of how ev stocks have moved this year 
Lucid will be valued at 15 to 25 billion dollars. Another reason why I think this could happen is because the chairman of Lucid board of directors is Andrew Leveris, and he is also an operating partner for Churchill Capital. So because he does have position and big positions in both these companies, he might be able to make the deal happen. And so yeah, I do think there's a high chance for the merger to happen. However, they are not in an agreement yet, so there is a chance it won't. So in the short term, if the merger does happen, I could see the stock going all the way to $20 or even higher. So I think it could have 75% upside. However, if it doesn't happen, I think Churchill uh, stock will go back to the $10 ranges. So there is a 30% downside. Now in the long term, I do think this will be able to compete with the luxury vehicles like the BMWs and Porsches. But I just want to clarify, it won't be the next Tesla. Not every electric vehicle company coming onto the market will be the next Tesla. But I do think it will benefit from the EV transition that is going on right now. Now another thing I could see for Lucid in the near short term is for a older automotive company to invest in this. Similar to how GM was about to invest Nikola until all the fraud allegations. Now with that being said, am I buying this stock? So I could see this as a short term play with 30% downside, but they could be 100 plus percent upside. Because when you look at these SPAC stocks, QuantumScape at some point went from $17 all the way to like 140. And Hylion and Nikola went all the way to the 50s and Nikola actually hit 70 so hype can definitely push this stock very high but as a long-term investment I can't say much because the merger isn't confirmed and if the merger does is confirmed then they'll release more information on their financials projections management etc and from there once they release that information then I'll reconsider it and I'll make another update video on this company and so with that being said if you guys did enjoy this video please do leave a like and subscribe also comment down below your thoughts on Lucid Motors and comment down below what other videos you like to see and thank you for watching.